get off my bed looking at the coochie. <laughs> Let's see if some of these folks that always got something to say bring their ass in here. Hey, everybody. I didn't even want to go live. I'm tired as fuck. I just got off of a flight just to turn around and get in a car and drive the hell back <laughs> where I just came from. So I'm tired, y'all. I don't know if you can see them eyes say the weed. Just I'm motherfucking tired. But y'all pissing me off in my comment section. So let's go ahead and have this conversation. Um, I will invite for a small moment. I will tolerate some of you dumb motherfuckers who have so much to say about what I had to say. Let me say this. First and foremost, I love black men and I support y'all a lot. I really, really do. But some of y'all are some pieces of shit. And y'all sure showed how many of y'all are pieces of shit in the chat. Okay? So, um, I will invite any of you motherfuckers to bring your ass on here and say whatever it is that you need to say to me. Although we know your bitch asses won't. Okay? So, let's, let's have this conversation really quickly about Brother Polite. Okay? Brother Polite and him raping this uh, 14-year-old girl, right? Sexually assaulting her, okay? A lot of y'all have so much to say about, oh, I heard y'all equate so much shit, and I just want y'all niggas to come on and say this shit to my face. See, because y'all are nothing more than the same scenario in the black community of that uncle that fucks with everybody kids and you niggas say nothing and you continue to invite him to the barbecues to the motherfucking birthdays and all of these events and nobody say nothing some of you niggas that was in my chat you is the motherfucking uncle okay so i'm glad y'all showed y'all ass y'all said some of the dumbest shit today i've heard you motherfuckers say everything from it's white supremacy trying to set brother polite up since the fuck when did a 14 year old baby become white supremacy I, I just want to know. Hmm? Oh, they just trying to take him down because he doing so much. What the fuck is polite doing for the black community? Not a motherfucking thing. What else did you motherfuckers say? You motherfuckers came in my chat and you said, um, if we got to uh, say that ozone should be uh, innocent until proven guilty, why the fuck isn't polite the same thing? Nigga, you do know this is two different things. Y'all just say the dumbest shit. As much as everybody's going through as black people, we got to stick together. We can't keep throwing our black men under the bus. And you fucking pick me chicks. Oh, you bitches. You bitches is in his motherfucking chat. Did y'all watch his sorry ass uh, response? How many of y'all watched his sorry ass response to the accusations? He could have just kept his ugly ass the fuck off live because he didn't say shit. Actually, he said a lot. And I'm going to break down to you what this motherfucker said, okay? If you didn't hear it, in other words, it was very obvious to me. He was giving you niggas a fair, a farewell, a goodbye motherfucking speech. You didn't hear that, huh? And it was all kind of women in the chat. You sorry ass bitches. You the same motherfuckers who be on here talking about, oh, she too fast. You the same bitches in the community. As soon as somebody do something to a girl or you see a motherfucking 26 year old walking around here in a relationship with a 15 year old and nobody got nothing to say. Y'all the same bitches talking about, oh, well, she just too fast. She just, she was dressing too grown. Shut your sorry ass up. Y'all the same bitches who get a boyfriend and because your daughter is becoming very developed and she a teenager, you actually jealous of your daughter because you think your nigga want her instead of understanding, bitch, something wrong with you and something wrong with your nigga if your nigga wants your daughter. See, you them bitches. So today, I don't have any love to come in this motherfucker for no black people and uplift nobody. I want to talk about you piece of shit mother motherfuckers in the black community how about that so let's talk about polite history a little bit since since y'all just think that this is the first motherfucking time that we have heard about this motherfucker fucking with girls it's not it's not how many of y'all know that hmm how many of y'all know that say that shit loud and clear in the chat bitch how many of y'all know that See, what's real funny is now that this nigga is on the news for doing what he did to this girl, 
All of a sudden, everybody want to go back and get all these videos that other people have played in the past, which is very appalling to me, showing that y'all have actually called him out. I have heard everything from y'all know that one of Polite's wife's uh, uh, used to be uh, uh, 16 when he met her, waited till she got an age, and then he made that one of his girls. So he been fucking with her since she was a little girl? Huh? I heard some people like Brother Sonetta, your video being played around here by other people when he was checking polite a while back about being around some young ass girl that was related to his motherfucking family member. I've heard about motherfucking in the past few days. I've watched videos talking about how teenage girls have run away from home, calling themselves running to stay with polite as they safe haven. So if you motherfuckers knew all of this, why the fuck y'all kept fucking with polite how come the black community kept giving this motherfucker a stage to stand on how come you motherfuckers didn't do shit about it the crazy part is every fucking video that i heard about all this shit that polite been doing with 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 uh with motherfucking uh young girls has come from nothing but a bunch of black men so if y'all knew this shit why the fuck y'all didn't go hard in the paint? See, you bitches can get on, on, on YouTube, you can get on Instagram, and you can talk about somebody and try and clout chase, and you can bring up every motherfucking thing else except that shit. Y'all let that shit ride? I'm going to tell y'all why y'all why, why do that shit. Because it's the same thing we do in the black community all the time. You know that saying, right? You know that saying, um... What goes on in this house stays in this house. Y'all know that bullshit ass saying, you know. So if grandpa touching everybody, if uncle touching everybody, if mama boyfriend touching everybody, we just not going to say nothing. Because what go on in this house stay in this house. See, that's that bullshit ass black people syndrome. Because every time somebody calls black people out for their bullshit, the first thing you dumbass motherfuckers say is, we should make this shit public. We should just keep this between us. Because everybody watching. No, fuck you. If a nigga scamming the community, you should call them bitches out. If a motherfucker fucking with young girls underage, you should call them motherfuckers out. Whatever people is doing in the black community, if they do it publicly, bitches should be said. And if you're doing it behind closed doors and you putting on a fucking front, you should be called the fuck out. So all of y'all sound stupid. Talking about what well, you know the white man watching. I don't give a fuck. You know the white man gave you the motherfucking mentality that you have, dumbass. They know that you out here doing this fuck shit because they instilled it in your bitch ass. Would anybody like to come up here and I, no, no disrespect to any of my followers that respect me, love me, and rock with me, but would any of you bitch niggas like to come up here and tell me how you justify that bullshit? All of this, oh, well, the news don't know. It's, it's, it's accusations. Can we wait until we know the truth? Okay, well, let's talk about, let's, let's talk about some truth. Let's talk about what we do know about this case. Yes? What we do know is that it happened back in February, March. What we do know is that DNA was taken, and what we do know is not a nigga is being charged. Seemed like to me, if you know anything about criminal justice and the way the system work, motherfucker, seemed like he got arrested recently because he probably got them charges because the DNA is his. I'm going to see if these people that ain't in the room with me hear me because I don't think y'all motherfuckers do. Don't nobody want to talk about that though, right? Huh? Let's just talk about this simple fact, something that we know is true. She left the room with this nigga. He didn't deny that. She came back with semen on her in six spots. So how the fuck he leave the room with her and he come back and she come back with some semen on her. But you want to tell me, oh, well, let's wait until they tell us. You think the news is going to come and tell you that the DNA evidence stated that it's his, it's his semen? No, that's what's left for the courtroom, you stupid motherfuckers. And that is what is left for, for when people go behind closed doors and they make plea, plea deals. They're not going to expose all of that to you on the news. They're going to tell you DNA was taken. And the fact that he was arrested should probably tell you that um, the DNA was his. If not, the nigga wouldn't have any charges against him. But that sounds too much like, right, y'all just, just want to be arguing for the sake of arguing? Hmm? Hmm? We know that for a fact, right? 
The girl got sexually assaulted by somebody. She came back with semen from somebody. And when she left the room, she was with him. Even he stated that he took the girl somewhere. I, I don't understand. But I do understand. Because this is what the fuck we do in the black community. Somebody asked me earlier in my comment section, how old were you when you lost your virginity, ladies? And how old was the man that you lost your virginity to? And they said they didn't mean no, 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 no offense when I gave them my response because they were trying to say that when they grew up, right, when they grew up, that they said it seemed like young girls just wanted to be around grow older men with cars and shit like that. Like, fuck you. Right. I like to be real transparent. Some people may have heard this story. If you have followed me, I lost my virginity at 12 years old to a 21 year old man. And I had no idea what the fuck was going on. And I promise you, I thought we were just trying to grind on each other like it was a movie. I didn't understand anything about no penetration. It was the 4th of July. My innocence was taken. I wasn't ready for it. It wasn't something that I was trying to do. This motherfucker knew that I was 12 and he was 21 years old. And I wasn't the only little girl he was fucking in the community. But at the end of the day, nobody had nothing to say to him. And I guarantee you if I had time a day and I had enough energy and motherfucking power and life would let me go longer than an hour, I could fill up days on ends of marathons with black women who will come on here and tell you the same fucking story. From they, from they family members, from they best friend daddy, from the motherfucker who they babysit their kids for, and all the bitches who cover it up as soon as you run to them and tell them that this person did something to me, you gonna turn around and have a fucking excuse for them. This is what the black community does a whole motherfucking lot. So why don't we just pull the dirty motherfucking covers back? Why don't we go ahead and have them conversations? Y'all motherfuckers keep saying, oh, what goes on in this house stays in this house. How many of you know that black girls will be sexually assaulted oh several times by the time they reach 18 years old statistics what is it is it is it one in every four black girls If I'm wrong I'm not that off if you want to go fucking look it up Ladies, am I lying in the chat? Because I can tell you that I'm one of them girls. I remember being on a Greyhound bus. It was a black man. See, this is the crazy thing. For as many times as I have dealt with with being sexually violated, growing the fuck up as a, as a black girl, it was never anything but a nigga. Does anybody want to talk about that? One of you motherfuckers got mad because as soon as I put the shit up, somebody came in and was like, all y'all ever do want to argue. I said, nigga, this ain't even about an argument. What are you talking about? It's not about who's right or wrong. It's about talking about the conversation. You bum ass motherfucker. Here come you bum ass black men exposing yourselves. Another man going to say, oh, you going to call us bum ass black men. You can never love black men by talking about us like that. You better shut the fuck up. Whoever told you that just because I go hard for my people that every black man got to get love. Some of you niggas is a piece of shit. Some of y'all don't deserve no motherfucker regard no love or no nothing from no motherfucking black community you need to be motherfucking ostracized beat the fuck up and maybe find an alley dance somewhere you bitch that's my motherfucking take all you niggas ain't ain't, ain't good black men some of y'all niggas is bum ass niggas some of y'all niggas is pedophiles just like motherfucking polite would you like to come on here and talk to me about it I'm going to see who on here but if you come on here wasting my time I swear to god I'm going to just cut you off tonight because I don't got no patience to be nice I'm looking, and I'm sorry, sisters. I, I want to see it for both. We had somebody on here that request. Let's see if they come on. So many of y'all talk about, let's just wait. We don't know what happened. We know enough. We know enough. We know a motherfucking enough. Y'all think this is a game? I don't have time to bring every woman on, but for any woman that feels okay, uh, sisters that's in the chat, can y'all just press a one to show these motherfuckers how many of y'all have been sexually assaulted by a fucking black man growing up? Relative, friend of the family, whatever. Can y'all put some ones in there so these niggas can see how we not playing? Can I get a two from all the sisters if it was a fucking trifling ass woman in your life who was some older ass auntie or somebody else talking about, oh, well, you was just being fast. I want y'all to pay attention to them numbers in the chat, you bitches. And I'm not talking about the women when I say bitches.
and they go to tubes. How many of y'all? How many of y'all had this older woman when you run to them? Sometimes it's your fucking mother and she's and she's upset and she's actually jealous of you because she thinks her boyfriend wants you and he do want you. But instead of protecting you and getting rid of this nigga, she's actually jealous of you. That's a sad ass story to see in the black community. You see these ones? You see these tools? Fuck you niggas. See, polite is a much bigger picture in the black community that we really don't ever want to discuss. And all of this, he got money. He got money. And so he got all these women. So why would he want a little girl? Really? So y'all think that that stops anybody. You mean to tell me as black people, y'all can let me sit here and talk about all of these rich white motherfuckers in Hollywood and in and on Disney TV and all in politics and Epstein, these niggas was rich as fuck. So what did they want with little ass kids? Hmm? See, the problem is money does not change people. Money makes you more of what the fuck you already are. So see, when you get money and you get fame, niggas think they can do this shit and just get the fuck away with it. That's all that is. So do y'all want to talk about Polite's farewell speech? Or no? Because I heard Polite tell y'all, nigga, I'm going to jail. You know how they have interpreters? So let me tell you what his, what his speech said at first. First his speech was this. This is what he said, but I'm going to tell you what he really meant, okay? He was like, so I've traveled to 30 places. I speak 55,000 languages. I've lived my life. I've done a lot. I've experienced everything. Is this not what, what Polite is telling y'all? Now, nigga, you on live, and you're supposed to be responding to the, to the accusations against you. Instead, he on live telling you how much he done done in his life how much he done lived, right? How much he done experienced because he's trying to convince not you, but himself, right? <laughs> he's trying to convince himself that he has lived a good life. So if life is over for him, as he knows it, it's okay. One thing I never heard come out that man mouth that whole life was this. I did not do this. I would never do something like this. I cannot speak on my case because that's how legal things are. So other than that, I cannot really get into the details, but I am going to tell you and look y'all in y'all face and tell you I did not do this. I did not do this. See, he could say that. Guilty people don't say nothing. See, if, if your lawyer will not tell you not to not say that, you could say that. His lawyer came on, 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 on news and said, these allegations are not true. It's funny how these pro-black ass niggas <laughs> always got a white attorney when you niggas get in trouble, though. <laughs> but but polite been standing next to white bitches ever since he got a little bit of money anyways. So I don't know why we act like we surprised by that. But why why didn't he? Hmm? Why wasn't polite speech this? Look, I can't get into them details. I just... It, because of my case, but I want y'all to know I would never do anything like this. Mr. Black Woman is God. Don't he tell you the black woman is God? So if the black woman is God, shouldn't he be appalled that he's been accused of these things? Like, I was accused by clout-chasing-ass motherfuckers that I was stealing money from the organization that I run to give to... It don't even matter where I gave it. They said that I was stealing it. I was appalled. Because not only... That I not steal shit. It is something that I actually go against. I'll call your ass out if I feel like you play in the black community. I will call your ass out if I feel like you scamming them or you collecting shit and you not doing what you supposed to do or you on some bullshit. Y'all niggas get mad at me for calling everybody out. But what I wasn't going to do is not at least say, no, I would never do no shit like that. These motherfuckers lying on me. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't, I don't steal money from my motherfucking people. But Mr. 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 Black Woman is God. He couldn't even say that. He's not appalled. He not stick to his stomach that he's being accused of something he didn't do, but also being accused of something so ridiculous based on how much he claimed he loved black women. But the nigga couldn't even fix his lips. He gave you a thousand gaslighting motherfucking words to deflect of everything else. But he never just said. I would never do nothing like this. This is ridiculous. I, I, I know what y'all hearing, but I just want to tell y'all, 
that I didn't do this. And I just want y'all to hear that from me. I can't say much more than that, but I think that our black babies have been through enough and black women, I would never add to this. And I just need y'all to hear me when I tell you I did not motherfucking do this, period. The nigga couldn't get them words out his mouth. And you bitches, y'all just, it was women on there. Now I am talking about some women. Y'all was on there like, King, y'all hoes was in the chat. King, this is just some haters. I'm gonna need y'all to stop with that shit too. Every time somebody say something about somebody and you don't agree with it, or you think that we shouldn't be airing nobody, I'm like, what, what fucking uh, world do we live in that you think everything somebody do, you supposed to just praise people? What the fuck is that? Some Christian shit? Because I'm not understanding why we can only talk about the good people fucking do. But anytime somebody do some bullshit, if you call them out, you a hater. You a hater? We hating on polite? Wow. So because people want to speak up and they appalled that this has happened to this girl, we're hating on him? Shut the fuck up. Y'all sound so dumb. So dumb. Like, dumb is not even a motherfucking word. And can I request something else of you stupid motherfuckers? And I'm going to tell you again, if anybody, if anybody don't fit that shoe, then shut the fuck up. Because when I say this shit, you know how many of y'all come and tell on yourself? It reminds me of when I asked my kids, who the fuck did something? And the kids all open their mouths to say what? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Did I fucking ask you who didn't do it? I asked you who the fuck did do it. So when I say some shit, if it's not you, you bitch, you ought not get offended. You ought not take it personal. You ought not jump your ass in them shoes and tie them the fuck up and walk around in them. So when y'all start jumping in my chat and talking crazy, it tells me you took offense to what I said, which means that you are actually a part of the problem. You niggas don't know y'all telling yourself you would do yourself better to just shut the fuck up. Y'all Freudian slip on y'all asses all the time. Y'all say shit and you don't even realize you telling on yourself. Because if a motherfucker put up a post and said, I, some of, some of y'all in the black community have handled this situation in a trifling manner, if you were not the motherfucker that was being trifling, there is no way that you should feel offended. I'm not going to jump in that comment section and be like, well, what you mean, y'all motherfuckers? I've been canceled polite a long time ago. Don't nobody listen to him no more. What the fuck wrong with you? See, now you're guilty and, and your motherfucking um, truths about what the fuck you do and what the fuck you is is starting to come to truth. I can go on my chat and tell you there's about five men in my comment section from these past two posts I did. You niggas is just like polite. And you will be surprised to know how the fuck I know that. I can tell by your response, motherfucker. Do we need to come check your household and see what little girls is around you bitches? Because y'all got real, real offended, some of y'all, at a comment that if it wasn't about you, then bitch, why is you in here crying? And quit calling this girl a woman. She ain't a motherfucking woman. She's a little girl. Can we get that right? She is a little girl. And I want y'all to know in the black community, see, this is why we will always be treated like shit in this community. Not because of the way we see it solely, but I want you to take your own personal feelings and attach it to what I'm getting ready to say. A lot of us don't have no remorse for this girl. A lot of y'all do think a 14-year-old black girl is not a baby. And I'm talking to black people. Y'all don't think that a 14-year-old girl is a black baby. You think that she is a grown-up person. When you see black kids, you don't see them as innocent the same way the police don't. This is why they go into our schools and they can handcuff an eight-year-old black baby and not care. And we're like, why the fuck are you doing that to that kid? Because we see our relatives. But at the end of the day, they just see some little nigga. And even though you ate, they don't care. This is why the police can brutalize our kids because they autistic and they throwing rocks in the street and they hit a police car. Y'all remember that story? And they torment our babies and tell them to get on the ground and put guns on them. And they're only 11 and 12 and 13 years old. And you think, why are you doing this? They're just kids. Because this world does not see black babies as babies. They're seen as thugs. They're seen as a threat. They're seen as something to be dealt with. They're not even allowed to be children. But the sadder part is that you motherfuckers in the black community, we do the same goddamn thing thing we do not see our children as children this is why the fuck as soon as your kids get 18 you kick them out because you can't get a check for them no more 
somebody said you are clout chasing negativity. I never see you say anything nice. So Jeffrey, come on, let's why don't you bring your bitch ass on here, Jeffrey? Let's let's have that conversation. Come on, Jeffrey. Come on, Jeffrey. Because, of course, it's not that so much negativity exists. That That's what it is. Now, yes. what you want to say to me, Jeffrey? Hey, hey, I'm not, I'm not justifying polite shit, first of all. So then what is no, the I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying it's personally I'm from, you, from you. It's a negative from you, fucking from, situation. From you, from you, from you, from you, sister. I don't hear you, you say anything. Like I don't hear you say anything nice. Nice. Oh. Nice. When do you say something nice? I'm you talking know, to you. I'm talking to you. I'm I talking to you. Stuff nice. When do you How say something you nice? Talk? No, no, no. Let's, I've listened let's to you about several about times over the years. I've listened to now you. I'm going to let you talk. When you're done, and I'm going to talk. I'm no, going to let ahead, you talk. Go ahead, go ahead, please. I've listened to you. I listen to you talk. You don't listen to me, nigga. You like is on my page. So let's 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 listen. I've listened to you. You follow me. That's why you listen to me. I listen to you, yes, but you never see anything. I listen to everybody. Everybody. I listen to everybody. I'm a grown damn man. I'm a grown damn man. I'm a grown damn man. Okay? I'm a grown damn man. And you a grown ass man on my motherfucking page. And if you have a problem with anything, I say, why the fuck you This is all IG. This is all IG. This ain't you. This is IG. This is IG. Okay? This is IG. Nobody forces you to follow me. This is IG. I am just saying to you, what you're saying about polite is fine. You ask a question. You challenge the, you, you put something out there. I'm saying to you, now, please say something nice. Tomorrow, next day, I don't, I don't care what you fucking say about polite. Sometime in the future, say something nice. Get on your, get on your thread and say something nice. Okay? Okay. First of all, like I said, how long have you been following me? It's Probably about a couple years. Couple you, years. Couple you, years. And you ain't never heard me say nothing nice, boy. Not, you not, not, you may up. start I'm nice. You, you start you nice. You start okay. nice. You don't end nice. I start nice. You always, so, you, so let, you, so let you me ask you a question. You go straight down. I let you talk, nigga. I let you talk now. Okay, Hold the fuck ahead. off. I let you talk. Thank you. Go so, ahead. again, of all things, why do you choose this conversation that is a negative one? And that don't, don't cut me the fuck off. That actually is filled with nothing but negativity. Right. I didn't say anything here that was not true. Why did you pick this conversation to have because a problem? Because you, you insulting with all black men. Like, we all do this shit. You don't, you don't think we've been there in the fight? You don't think we've been there in the fight? Himself, you don't think we've been there in the fight? No, no, I've been there in the fight. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to whip your ass at four o'clock in the you morning know, you if, you, if you touch my girl. niece. You understand that? I'm that why uncle will kill you if you, you touch. No, 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 no. You're not talking about all the people. You're talking about 10% of the black men. Baby girl, you're talking about 10% of the black men out here. 9% of us, we, 90% of us, we out here grinding every day. We grind every day. We did out here grinding. Did you, did you talk about grinding? us? Talk about us sometimes, okay? Talk about us. Oh my God. Okay, talk about us sometimes. So first, you got you got black men out here grinding. We got you got black men out here protecting you, protecting okay. you. You're not, and right now, instead of protecting this girl and what's uh, going on, you up here arguing with me. No, I, I said, you said, no, no. you said you pulled me in. You pulled me in. Hold on, you pulled me in. You pulled me in. You asked me to come in here. You asked me to come in here, okay? So since Jeffrey can't shut up, we're going to let Jeffrey leave because at the end of the day, like I said, if he's about protecting and defending black women, then why the fuck is he not defending this black girl in this situation? Instead, he chooses this time to pick a fucking argument with me about why I'm being negative in a situation that has no fucking positivity in it. Are you serious? And I could have swore that I started this conversation the fuck off with, I'm not talking about all black men. So Jeffrey, I don't know if your dick be in your ass, bitch, but in a last year i have black men come on here all the time i just talked to another uh, one the other day so where the fuck were you on that live i give black men big ups all the time you bitch and all the time there are people on here talking about how much i have helped them how much michi do for them so i'm gonna need you to stop because i support black men all the fucking time boy bye so i want to explain something to y'all that man that just got off he is one of them uncles i'm talking about See, either he done touched the nigga or either he done allow somebody to touch somebody and he let it go. So this nigga is mad. That's why his nerves is touched. This is what I mean by you bitch ass black men. And didn't I just say, I just told you stupid niggas, do not fucking put your feet in shoes that do not belong to you. Tie them up and walk around in them. I have no other choice than to believe that these shoes belong to you, bitch. 
this nigga mad over me saying some shit that don't that he claim is not his claim to fame. It's not something he does, but you see how offended he fucking is. This the shit that I'm talking about. This is the shit that I'm talking about. This black man ain't bring his ass on here to talk the fuck about how many women in the chat pushed a one when they said they've been assaulted by black men. He want to tell us it's 10%. So are 10% of the black men the one out here that are touching on all the black girls that pushed one in my chat and the millions more who are not in my chat? So it's the 10% doing it, huh? And you wanted them 10%, you bitch ass nigga. Hold on, we got some more here. Let's go. I could argue for a little bit. I think my battery a little strong tonight. What's up, Minty? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing, man? Just want to be honest. We I'm can't. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you're doing all right. What Polite did, you know, based off the story, you know, it's unacceptable. We can't justify what he did. What he did was wrong. And we got to put him in, in his place. Let black men handle that. This ain't your fight, baby. Let us take care of that. See, it's not about it being my fight. I'm speaking yeah. up for all of the black women mm -hmm. who, who go through this shit and nobody ever wants to defend us. I'm speaking from that perspective. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? It's not my job to protect polite. You are absolutely right. It is your job to protect. Gotcha. Yeah. You right. Mm hmm And guess what? Call me as a bitch. Call me as a bitch. But I, absolutely. I feel I absolutely sorry for the daughter. Have. You know, I, I pray for the daughter. We all need it put her in mind as well because you know she's going to go through things that's going to be stuck to her for years she's going to be a grown woman she's going to be married she's going to have a husband she's going to have to open up that part of her life to her husband and he's going to have to nurture her on that part so or, or looking at the society we live in now she could just go get her a girlfriend and create more trauma in her life because she has another option now to go to with me and how about this and, and think about this <laughs> i know they have that story right Think about this. He just created transgenerational trauma for her. It's going to be passed down to her kids as well. If she chooses to have kids. That transgenerational trauma is a fool. Once you pass that shit on to your kids, it's going to go on from generation to generation. And the average for a single adult, it takes 20 years for an individual to get over trans transgenerational trauma. You got to think about that too. And that's if they get over it. If they get over it. So it might take a little longer. Yeah, sure. Unless she have a lot of help and a lot of therapy, she's probably right. going to run the street. And right. because of what has happened to her throughout her life, she's going to actually do a lot more things that are damaging to her that is going to cause her even more drama, trauma in her life that she's going to have to unpack. And we hope that she unpacks it before she dies. Because most people are old and still ain't got it. So, right. No like the rest of us, will have us making choices that cause us even more trouble. Right. You got a point. You know, I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to build with you. I support everything you got going on. But Brother Polite, he out of pocket. Black men got to check him. And we got to move on about this. And we also need to, uh, we need to see, we, we need therapy, man. Black community need therapy. We, we think Absolutely. we don't need it. We really need therapy. Therapy helps. You know, our egos as a man, we get big headed. Oh, no, nah, we don't need therapy. Man, fuck therapy. No, nah, man, therapy can help you. But, you know... I'm well, they make it be a stigma on our community to say that we don't need counseling or that people don't deal with mental... Uh, disorder. Everybody think a mental disorder means you got to be talking to yourself. That's not a mental disorder. A lot of people can suffer from depression, mm. anxiety, a whole lot of things that each and people going through trauma. But right. we don't even know what these things look like, so we just don't talk about them and be like, yo, that girl crazy, but the truth really is crazy. For our community, right. there's no dealing with our hurt and our pain. We just get out from the very beginning. You go through shit, get up, and you, up. And you just keep pushing. You gotta keep. Moving. We only understand survival. Mode. Survival is not always having peace or doing it in a way that maintains a normalcy of life. Our, sometimes our normal is dysfunctional, right? right? And so we function in dysfunction is what I like to call it. And that's normal to all of us. Right. So. Right, right. I got you. Uh, but yeah, we need to look into that word, transgenerational trauma. It takes an average adult 20 years to get over. But 
I appreciate you, man. Have a nice day. Don't let these followers get to you. Take care. <laughs> all right. I'll be all right. This, I, this, I deal with it all the time. All, all right, right, all right. It's way out of Houston, Texas, by the way. H Town, baby. And I the H Town. Thank you, brother. All right. Now, I don't know, was that nice or was it not nice? See, I find that people only want to see what they want to see when they looking because I have plenty of great conversations with brothers. Actually, the sisters get mad at me sometimes because I get on y'all a whole lot, right? For telling you shit like you not the father on Father's Day. Quit saying that shit because you're not the father. I get on sisters for having your kids around niggas you don't even motherfucking know, right? I got plenty of them videos right here. So I don't understand how people don't ever see that shit. Fuck out of here. Again, perfect example of a brother who did not put that shoe on. So I'm glad that these two different brothers came on here because that's a brother that said, that's not my shoe. She not talking to me. That don't belong to me. So he didn't jump in it. He didn't put it on because it didn't belong to him. The other man put it on and I'm willing to bet you that that other man that came on here, I bet you either he do some shit to girls or eat boys. Because our boys get sexually assaulted too. Some of you niggas is going after the boys too like R. Kelly and this motherfucker, right? Or either he has situations in his motherfucking family that he didn't do nothing about so he feels some type of way about it. This is not the place to vent that shit with me, you bitch, and let me at tell anybody, man, woman, anybody that's on my page, LGBTQATYZPT, whatever the fuck you represent, if you believe you a dog in this bitch, everybody that's listening, listen to me real good and real well. Just like he wanted to say he was grown, we all grown, right? that's on here and you all have what's called free will even though you are really enslaved in america you are never enslaved on michi's motherfucking page so i would like all of you grown people who find any offense in what i have to say or in my energy or how i i say what i say or you think i'm negative i am who the fuck i am and when i go live most of the time i am here to educate to give knowledge to chop a motherfucking head off if that's what need to be done because ain't nobody coming around here playing nice with white supremacy i'm not coming around here trying to tiptoe around these motherfucking situations these conversations we have are not easy fucking conversations. So ain't nobody talking about this shit like my name is Mary Poppins. So I would like to invite all of you, like I do often on my YouTube, maybe y'all not used to it over here on Instagram. I would like to invite all of you to fucking unfollow me. And if you don't know how to do that, all you have to simply do is go to my page. And it's going to see that big ass button. It's blue where it used to say follow. You could click that arrow that come down and it will say unfollow. And you can unfollow me and you never have to see me again. That's called being a grown person, taking responsibility for what you feed yourself. See, I don't motherfucking watch TV because I don't like all that propaganda. And I know what the fuck they be doing. So I don't watch TV. So I suggest you niggas take that same advice and what you don't like, don't force it down your goddamn throat. Because Michi is not for everybody. And I am okay with that. Okay? So I'm going to need you to be okay with it too and with your grown asses go ahead and be responsible for what you digest into your system if michi is so negative i'm gonna need you to go ahead and unfollow me go ahead and follow positive polite <laughs> and let's see how long it take him to get back to making videos you know that's real positive for you niggas to follow like go ahead sometimes i think you men just be offended because it's me saying it right because i don't watch grown ass men get on here in the black community and go just as hard and say all kind of shit and y'all be good with that but as soon as michi gets to go on. I'm supposed to be quiet. I just think that you you weak motherfuckers get intimidated because you have said that you don't even know how to go this hard. And you be like, this 5'2", oh, light, bright bitch, I don't know who she thinks she is coming this hard when I don't know how to come this hard. So that's your own insecurities, baby. I'm gonna need you to deal with that because you's a punk. Don't be mad that I'm not never a punk. I'm a grown-ass woman and I'm gonna speak my motherfucking mind. And if you don't like it, leave leave. I ain't never wanted everybody to fuck with me. I understand. If everybody like you, you're doing something wrong. Okay? I'm not for everybody. So, I don't want everybody to like me. If everybody did, I'd be a fake-ass motherfucker. That's what fake people do. They, they move and maneuver for everybody. Like, I'm gonna keep being me. Okay? You don't want to watch? Then you can unwatch. Close your eyes, bitch. Unfollow. Do something. Okay? But quit fucking watching me if it caused you so much motherfucking strife. And that's for all you niggas that was in my comment section earlier today, getting upset about the shit that I had to say to y'all in the chat. Y'all was just jumping to all kind of conclusions. But the bottom line is, this nigga is a straight up goddamn, he, he one of them uncles. Right? And I just want y'all to know that the black community is responsible for this. Right? People want to blame her mom. So can we get that story straight too so that people will understand what happened with that? Okay, he said, she said, all of this back and forth. What I, my understanding of what I heard is that, first of all, this woman has been dating Polite for over a year, 
Okay, so they travel a lot and the daughter is always with them together. So it's kind of like a step dad thing, right? So, I mean, let's let's just be honest. While y'all trying to dog her mom, any of y'all women in the chat, you been with a nigga for a whole entire year. Y'all all running around together. Your daughter's around him. He's around you. You just gonna kind of feel like, you know, this her stepdad. He don't be with her a lot alone. What y'all didn't hear was that, I guess, her and her daughter had been arguing, which is a fucked up thing, or they had a, a, a problem in their relationship. So he like, let me talk to her. You know, y'all separate for a minute. Let me talk to her and see, you know, y'all have a moment away or whatever. This is the other side of the story that was told. She did not know that he went and got it. Somebody said, why would you take, uh, uh, let him take your daughter to a hotel room she didn't let him take her daughter to a hotel room my understanding is they were already in a fucking hotel and this nigga just got another room and took her into it but he was supposed to be taking her to a gathering where it was supposed to be other people y'all keep saying it was an after party in the club no it was not supposed to be that my understanding is that it was a gathering with other people that had traveled with them other women and they were like downstairs in the lobby or they were gonna be attending something it wasn't a fucking club like she let her daughter go and she was really a four you really think polite got that much pool that he finna have a 14 year old in the club taking shots and what nobody gonna say shit like come the fuck on he went and got another hotel room he played that shit off the mother didn't know that this is what was going on she didn't meet the nigga last week so come on y'all I feel like we put the blame on every goddamn body but the person who did it even if somebody said where's her father maybe she do got a father but at that moment this woman is dating polite and she been dating him for a whole year So why, why does it matter where her father is? I mean, y'all act like just because the mom was dating polite and they was out of town somewhere with the baby, that means that she don't have a daddy when she at home. I'm divorced. I got two kids right the fuck now hanging out with their daddy and their stepmama. And come on, y'all. This is not the same thing as somebody meeting a nigga and you ain't known him, but for for, for three motherfucking weeks and now he's on your couch and you leaving him to babysit your kid. That's not this story, although there's plenty of those that go on in our community as well. Okay? So let's let's leave the blame on who the blame is on because it seems like no matter what this mother did, now, has she not said anything and covered it up because she wanted to have money or she wanted to stick with Polite and not ruin his shit and made him give her money, then that would have been, y'all would have been like, oh, she a fucked up mom. She did the right thing. She went straight to the motherfucking police. She took her daughter to the damn hospital and she obviously called the police and pressed charges. So stop. Okay? Y'all just want to come for everybody but the motherfucker who did it. But that's what we do in this community. Somebody said it's victim blaming. That's what we do. That's what we do. So I, I, I'm going to get the fuck off here because like I told you, I didn't even want to be on this motherfucker. I'm tired as hell. Normally these red eyes would be because I done smoked some weed. But I, done, I, I hopped on a plane. I am in Detroit right now. And I have been here for about a good five hours. And I am about to leave here in another three hours and take a 10-hour drive the fuck back home. Okay? So... I'm tired as hell, but I was tired of them comments in the comment section, so I had to come on here and say what I had to say. But before I leave, I guess I would like to sum it up and say this. Again, if you got a problem with Michi, fucking unfollow me, bitch, because I'm not changing. I'm not changing. So just change the motherfucker that you follow, which would be me, okay? And shout out to Fuck Child Support. Um, I know we ain't get to do the interview yet, but, but brother, I'm coming. I would love to do an interview with you. And we can have that conversation about what Michi thinks about child support and the system and mothers and all of that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, so I ain't dish you, brother. I just been busy. I promise you, I do not have enough hours in my day. And I'm tired as fuck. You know, the kind of tired that sleep do not take away. I go to sleep tired and I wake up tired. So just give me a minute, but I did not forget about you. Um, but the next thing that I want to leave here and I want to say is this. I want y'all to take this for a moment and I want y'all to let this shit marinate because these things are going to continue to happen in our community. This is nothing more than how we let R. Kelly do what R. Kelly did. And then everybody wanted to scream, white supremacy is throwing him away. No, R. Kelly threw himself away. R. Kelly knew exactly what he was doing. And for many years, we let that nigga do everything he did in the community. We all knew he was like that. Parents kept giving their fucking kids to this man. They kept doing all of that bullshit and we never said nothing. We was okay with it. Then as soon as he went to jail and all these documentaries came out, because the saddest part is, is that nobody cares about black girls tears in this country. They do not. And, and I think the saddest part is that not even black people care about black girls tears in this country. We don't. We don't. 
The only time we got riled up is when white supremacy got into it and we wanted to tell white supremacy, basically, if you want, if we want to have pedophiles in our community destroying our motherfucking babies, we can do that. Don't you white motherfuckers say nothing about it, though. That ain't your place. White supremacy. Tia, y'all check R. Kelly a long time ago. There wouldn't have been nothing for white supremacy to use. Yes. So polite is nothing more than, than that as well. Because as I said in the beginning of this, if anybody wasn't in here, that there are already stories for many years. I'm just finding out now that a lot of y'all in the black community have done videos on this nigga. A lot of y'all said that this is not the first time that polite has been fucking around with young girls. My understanding is he was fucking with one of his so-called wives when she was 16 years old. I've heard the rest of y'all talk about family members that are related, that y'all know they underage, underage girls who have run away to go and be with this nigga. So y'all knew all of that? Y'all knew all of that and nobody said, nobody did nothing, and now we're here. Some of y'all need to take some of that blame. Y'all need to hold some of that, that L right there. Y'all need to hold that shit, right? So how about, how about we stop playing that game? How about y'all stop letting motherfuckers do this to black girls in the community, especially niggas swearing the black woman is God. Y'all treat us like shit. And yeah, we understand sometimes we treat y'all like shit. And you know what? We understand this conditioning. But at some point, we got to stop blaming everything outside of our community and start looking at what the fuck we do. You know better. You do better. Yeah, white people put us in this position mentally and everything else. We got here because of a certain situation. But now that we're here, you know better. You do better. It's up to us to motherfucking make that difference. Because do you think the white motherfuckers in this government who has set us up to be in the situations we in, why do you think that it's their motherfucking job to save us? Do you think they gonna come save us? They the ones destroying us. It's up to us to save our motherfucking selves. So I don't know who the fuck you waiting on. Who the fuck we waiting on? These travesties happen in our communities because we fucking let them. Point blank, period. I'm gonna leave it at that. Y'all have a good night, and I'm going to have a real tired night, and I will see you guys and um, you guys tomorrow the next day. There's some other things I would like to talk about, but, of course, these things come up and they take precedent. We still need to talk about Ozone in his case um, and a whole lot of other things. Thank you to everybody that gave badges. Forgive me for not calling out y'all name, but as y'all can see, it wasn't one of them types of shows. So thank y'all, and um, I'll talk to y'all later.